Hi, I'm Bob. In the last video, we have learned three scenarios where an individual firm in a perfectly competitive market maximizes its profit in the short run. It chooses an upper level at which its marginal cost is equal to the market price. If you earn the largest profit or make the smallest loss or break even, if a firm suffers a loss in the short run, you will continue to produce or shut down and not produce anything at all. Here we need to distinguish between a temporary shutdown and a permanent exit from the market. A shutdown refers to a short run decision not to produce anything during a specific period of time because of current economic conditions. Asset refers to a long-run decision to leave the market. The short-run and long-run decisions differ because most firms could not avoid the fixed cost in the short-run but can do so in the long-run. That is, a firm shuts down temporarily still has to pay its fixed cost whereas a firm assets the market pays neither the fixed cost nor the variable cost. Take our ice cream firm as an example. The investment in the ice cream machines and the rent of the factories are the fixed costs in the short run, while the workers' wages are the variable cost. If the ice cream firm decides not to produce any ice cream cones in the coming month, the investment and the rent cannot be recovered. The fixed cost is said to be a sunk cost. By contrast, if the ice cream firm decides to leave the ice cream market, it can sell the ice cream machines and sublease the place or just not renew the lease. When making the long-run decision of whether to exit the market, the fixed cost is not sunk. Next, let's consider what determines the ice cream firm's shutdown decision and when the ice cream firm will shut down in the short run. An individual competitive firm always produces where the marginal cost is equal to the market price. In our example, the ice cream firm chooses 3,600 ice cream cones as its output level to maximize its profit. Let's add the average total cost curve and the average variable cost curve to the graph because we need these curves to determine the profit. Suppose the average variable cost is equal to the market price at the profit maximizing upper level of 3,600 ice cream cones. As the graph shows, if the ice cream firm operates at this point, it earns a profit of 0 0.5 times 3,600, which is $1,800. However, its total cost is 0 0.6 times 3,600, which is $2,160. Therefore, the ice cream firm makes a loss of $360 as the shaded rectangle indicates. On the other hand, if the firm shuts down and does not produce anything, it does not need to pay the variable cost, but it still has to pay the fixed cost, not the rent. From the graph, we can calculate its fixed cost. It is equal to the total cost minus the variable cost which is $360. So the ice cream firm is indifferent between the loss it makes if it operates and the fixed cost it pays if it shuts down. This is the case where the firm operates at the minimum average variable cost point. The ice cream firm is indifferent between producing the optimal level of 3,600 ice cream cones or shutting down temporarily. We can also see from the graph that if the firm produces 
an upper level between zero and the optimal level, the firm is worse off because the loss is larger. So producing nothing is better than any pawns between nothing and 3,600. If the market price is between the firm's minimum average variable cost and the firm's minimum average total cost, as this graph shows, the firm makes a loss, but it reduces its loss by operating rather than shutting down, so the firm will still operate. If the firm operates, it makes a loss of the shaded rectangle area. If it shuts down, the fixed cost it pays is the larger shaded rectangle area. Why does the firm produce, given that it's making a loss? The reason is that the firm reduces its loss by operating rather than shutting down because its revenue assets its variable cost. Or equivalently, the market price assets the firm's average variable cost. If the market price is lower than the minimum average variable cost, the firm shuts down because the revenue could not cover its variable cost. If the market price is greater than the minimum average total cost, we already know that from previous video that the firm will operate to earn a profit. So, in summary, a perfectly competitive firm operates when the market price is greater than its average variable cost. It shuts down in the short run only if the market price is less than the minimum average variable cost. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.